with Brazil, I think we have very special ties. I think it's, uh, we know that uh, Mozambique and Brazil are being both colonized by the same country. We speak the same language. Uh, I think uh, uh, the support that the Brazilian government is providing to African countries and in particular to Mozambique, it's very special. The cooperation with Brazil uh, in terms of the strategic development of this institute is one of the most important cooperations that we have established in the last years. It has been critical to uh, really uh, get this institute uh, to another level. I am Mozambican. Uh, I was born here in Mozambique where I uh, studied uh, human medicine. In the last four years, I have been the director general of the Mozambique's National Institute of Health. The, the, the Mozambican health system faces various types of challenges. Uh, the challenge that I think is the one that we're trying to solve here at the National Institute of Health is how the health sector can use the little resources it has in the most effective manner. And we try to address that by providing evidence uh, to the Ministry of Health uh, and um, working the Ministry of, with the Ministry of Health to use this evidence in, in policy making. And by that, putting its money where it's most needed. We have started a formal relationship with Brazilian institutions eight years ago. Most of our uh, cooperation with Brazil has been with an institution called Fiocruz. When we started working uh, with Fiocruz, we uh, understood that one of the main issues for the strategic development of this institute uh, was educating people. In the health sector, there are no PhD programs uh, in a Mozambican university. So uh, if anyone wants to do a PhD program in, in, uh, in the health sector, we need to find, we need to send this person abroad. I'm a director of this research center, which is one of the three research centers that INS has it in the country. And basically I do the coordination and the management of the clinical research that are conducted at our research center. So uh, I did my PhD from 2009 to 2013 at uh, Fundação Oswaldo Cruz, Fiocruz in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And uh, my work basically was on a clinical trial that we conducted in uh, three health centers in Maputo City. The PhD that I did, it was a sandwich PhD, you know, where I had to stay a couple of months in Brazil and uh, most of the months of the year in Maputo doing my field work. The academic part, I had to do it in Brazil. Uh, and uh, at that time, I did not have any opportunity or any any place to do the academic part of my work in Mozambique. I did PhD in immunology and uh, retrovirology uh, at Fiocruz in Rio de Janeiro and uh, between 2008 and 2012. And uh, from 2012 until the present time, I am doing a postdoc um, program to the European Neglected Tropical Disease uh, Initiative in Emerging Infectious Disease. Mozambique needs many more like me to generate more science in Mozambique. So we need people like me to build the capacity of Mozambique to be competitive, to bring more collaboration and more funding for Mozambique. So we then with Fiocruz uh, decided that the best option for us, for our context, was to set up training of people at postgraduate level here in Mozambique within this institute. 
So then we established our first master's course, which was a master's course in biomedical sciences. And uh, the model of that master's was that the classes would take place here within the institute in Maputo, with the classes being given by Mozambican professors and by Brazilian professors. And then each student will do a thesis on a topic that was uh, a priority for the institute. And within the, the, the time frame of the thesis of the master's course, the students will then spend uh, a period between three to six months in Brazil to do uh, laboratory work that couldn't be done in Mozambique or, or do some coursework that wasn't available during the course time here in, in, in Mozambique. And at the end, the student will defend their thesis here in, in, in Maputo with uh, being examined by Mozambican professors and Brazilian professors. And at the end, the title will be given by Fiocruz. We are now on our fourth class, and uh, we have enrolled uh, about 35 people in, in these master's courses, in the three previous master's, close, uh, master's courses in biomedical sciences. Uh, the Masters on, on Health Systems that we have started this year has 14 students. Uh, so, you know, we have now uh, about 65 people that, Mozambicans, that have been enrolled in the two Masters courses in, in the last eight years. We have just launched uh, a joint PhD program uh, between uh, our institute and Fiocruz that is going to uh, provide a PhD opportunity for many of the, the graduates of our master's programs. And this PhD program is going to follow the same model as our master's courses. Uh, and at the end, the people will, will get a degree from Fiocruz uh, at, while we sort out how this institute in the near future can start uh, awarding degrees on, on its own. This year we, are, we expect to enroll uh, three people for, for the PhD program. It's a small number, but we are just starting and we want to make sure that we're doing it the right way. Uh, there is also limited capacity of supervision within our own institute, so that to some extent also limits the number of PhD students that we can have. We would like to see a similar number being enrolled uh, maybe next year. We, uh, about five, six years ago, had uh, about 10 people with master's degree and two or three people with a PhD degree in this institute. We currently have uh, more than 40 people with a master's degree working here at the institute. The number of people with PhD degrees is increasing. So uh, from our own experience, I'm confident that this is a model that, that works, that produces results in short term, and that is uh, extremely effective. One of the um, interesting things, I think, in this program is the fact that the classes are being done here and not in Brazil, although the diplomas are issued from Fiocruz. But uh, the fact that everything is done here, or almost everything, I think is very important because first, uh, the, the subjects for the uh, research of the students are local subjects of importance for the country. The second thing is that students pass most of their time here, although they, co they can go for a short period of training uh, in Brazil, uh, almost everything is done here. Uh, and the result is that so far we have zero student that uh, just quit uh, the program. So we have zero brain drain so far. And I think this is very important for a, a, a graduate program uh, in Africa as a general, in Mozambique in particular.